Hello class 4. Good morning. Today we are going to learn chapter number 3 computer software from subject computer. Software. So before knowing this software, we have to recall one more function that is hardware. And then we come to this point. So without these two functions, the computer cannot work. Hardware, as we know, the physical component that we can touch, we can see, we can feel. Like monitor, keyboard, CPU, mouse, whatever the parts that we can see, we can touch, we can carry, we can move from one from one place to another. This we can see as hardware. Now just we will come to the software. What is software? Software is a collection of computer program and related data that provide the instruction for telling a computer what to do and how to do it. A computer software can be touched or seen, but it is essential for what? Without software, a computer is like a car without petrol or paint without a refill. A computer has two main parts, hardware and software. Hardware is the physical part to which we can touch and feel. The hardware cannot do anything by itself. It requires the services of a logical component that act as a brain warehouse of the computer. This logical component is nothing but the software. It controls the hardware and makes them operational. Thus, we can say that a hardware without a software is equivalent to a human body without a brain. So, software is both classified in two types. Now, software also there is two types. What are they? One, system software. System software and application software. Number two. Application software. So now, system, what is system software? Please try to understand. System software is used to control, manage and work with the hardware of the computer or to convert instructions written in a high level language to machine language. It is classified as following. Now again, system software also going to classify in the different categories like operation, operating system, programming language and translator. Clear? Like operating system, operating system software. Now. We are discussing about OS software. Okay. OS means operating system. Operating system software is the master control program that runs the computer and acts as a cellular. It controls all components of the computer. It makes the hardware of the computer easy to use. So here. The different types of operating system, operating systems are the like Dix operating system, MS DOS, operating system 2, Unix and Linux, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7. So let us right now we are using Windows XP. So operating system software is again divided into the following categories: single program OS operating system, multi-user program OS operating system, programming language, translator. So translator. Translator is used to translate any program into machine language. Translator are of three types. Again, translator also in three types. That is assembler, interpreter, and compiler. So, what is assembler? Please try to understand. Assembler and assembler is a language translator for a loop level programming language called assembler language. Assembler language is a symbolic language. Interpreter and interpreter translate and executes each program statement one at a time after execution. So, into what interpreter? Interpreter translate word by word. But what? The compiler translate first the compiler listen whole speech. Then it, it will transport at once. It means interpreter translate word by word and the compiler translate because it will listen whole speech and translate at once. So application software utilize the capacity of a computer directly to a detectable task. Application software is able to manipulate text, number and graphics. Next please, different types of application software. Word processing software. Word processing software enable the user to create and edit document, 
the most popular example of this type of software are MS Word, Notepad, Wordpad. So in this uh, program, what we do? This program help us to write application, letter, whatever the uh, type of application type works, we want to do document so that we work in this word processing software. Now, spreadsheet software. Spreadsheet software, spreadsheet software allows the user to perform calculation. The same view, paper works by displaying multiplying multiple cells that make a grid like Excel. In Microsoft Word, you just go to the program Microsoft Office. From there, we will find Microsoft Excel. So from there, we can use multiplication work either automatic. So same as database system, multimedia software. So these are all you know about the things. You just go through the book. Now, next thing is that processing of multimedia. The input are processed through special multimedia packages. The input part can be modified and given different color, shape and intensity of colors can also be changed. The finally processed file is converted into a special file called .exe. When we complete our work, working in any application, either you work in Word, Notepad, Wordpad, other Excel, whatever the work you do, you must after completing the work, we have to save, we have we must save the work. Otherwise, the way the computer will switch off, our work will whatever it will delete permanently. So before that, what we have to do? We have to save our work. And while saving, we have to save with a unique name of the file name. That after later on, whenever we want the file, we want that document, we want that uh, program. That time uh, we can find it easy. That type of unique name we have to keep for the file. So that is the file name. In computer, we can use a lot of multimedia functions. Like we can listen music, we can watch movies, we can see cartoon, we can arrange cartoon, we can play video games, etc. etc. Whatever the things like we can uh, see in television, we can use in mobile, all the things that we can win our what? computer system understood so please uh, you go through your exercise that is tick and write the correct answer page number 32 it makes the hardware of the computer easy to work it makes the hardware of the computer easy to work what is that ot op od os obviously os operating system number two software is please two three four you do it in your book with a pencil. Number B, a computer has two main parts, dash and dash. What is that? Answer, hardware and software. Other you please do with the pencil. And your true or false, write true or false. Don't write key and F on it. You have to write complete true and false, the same thing. Understood? So there are four types of system software. Is it true? No, false. So write up. So same as you do it continuously, which is number A, B, C in your book with a pencil. So till then, thank you. Have a nice day.